Hey beautiful people, my name is Blaze and in this video my goal is to show you a very simple way of how you can become healthier both physically, both mentally and how you can have a, a consistent workout routine and develop a better relationship with physical fitness, right? So without further ado, I think the first thing we have to assess before I explain anything is that why most people don't have these things. To put simply, the biggest thing I've identified is that most people just, they just don't want to put in the work it takes in order to get what they want out of life. And so that's pretty the biggest thing. And the second one is, you know, too much complexity and uh, just overcomplication of the whole thing, which comes from the first part. So when people feel like they get the answers, but they feel like it's a lot of work, they keep digging for more answers until they find something that's, you know, not that much work in order to make them feel good. And this would really prolong them on this journey of physical fitness and just being, you know, generally speaking, being healthier. And, um, and that's it pretty much. Like there are like so many diets out there, so many different ways of, you know, eating healthy. And, um, I think in reality, like all the information is already out in YouTube. And so if someone really be wants to become healthy, all they have to do is just go there and follow those tips. Uh, but in reality, people just don't want to do that. And they just go for the next diet and the next diet when in reality, they I feel like you just have to build better habits and um, create a better relationship with food overall and also with physical fitness and workouts overall. So what I got for you guys is that I put together this uh, simple board just uh, for a representation to help me explain uh, what I really want to explain for you. And so the first thing is that um, I don't want to go into, because a lot of people talk about like what, what food to eat, what diets to follow, you know, how to work out. And I think the biggest problem is that most people, as said, they know what to eat. They already know what, what is a healthy food. Like simply we know we don't have, you know, we shouldn't eat, you know, a lot of um, salty food, a lot of sweets, um, a lot of processed food. And on top of that, like we should eat like a lot of greasy food. Um, we, we should eat um, whole, like whole foods. Uh, a lot of fruits, veggies. Uh, so I think if you would stop someone on the street and you would ask them like what they believe, what they should eat uh, in order to be healthy, they would know the answers, right? So we have the answers. And so that's the first part is the eating. The second one is really uh, physical fitness and with physical fitness. Um, let, let, let me go, let me just, let me just stick uh, with, the, with the eating first, with the eating part. And so with eating, I believe the biggest thing is that uh, what people should assess is that why not eating the right food, right? Simple as that. Generally speaking, we know what to eat, but we are not eating the right food. And so I think we can break this down into like two elements. The first one is, you know, what is good for your mind, the food that is good for your mind, because most people eat food based on what good for their taste buds. Like you just eat food that tastes good. And uh, most people don't even question this, but you know, as I started questioning, like, why do I eat food that's good for my taste buds? Why am I not eating this part of my body, right? Why am I not eating food instead that's good for my brain, right? And so that's, that's, that's the first part, right? Question this and then try to find an answer. Why, you know, it doesn't make sense to eat things that's good for your taste buds when you can eat something that's good for your body, holistically speaking, and you are, you know, performing on a higher level, uh, you have more clarity, less brain fog, and uh, you can literally just accomplish more and feel better in your body. Uh, now, the goal for this video is not to like tell you things that you can literally easily Google it out. So if you want to find like these, like, type in good good foods for your brain, superfoods, foods to keep you productive. If you, if you put into Google, you're going to find a lot of things. Um, you know, just give, give an example, like one of those is like blue, blueberries. You know, you can eat more blueberries and et cetera, et cetera. They're like a bunch of foods, avocados, yada, yada, yada. Um, the second part is really the food that's good for your physique. And um, generally speaking, there are like two elements to it. Um, after myself, after like doing, I think I did like 10 to 15 sports um, on, a, on a, I tried on a, like a relatively high level. Um, at one point in my life, I was um, going to the gym like nine, 10 times, uh, lifting heavy stuff, deadlifting, CrossFit, powerlifting, all kind of things. And I was really um, conscious about what food I ate as well. And so the first thing first is that really like thermodynamics, like calorie in, calorie out. Um, and generally speaking, if you eat more food than what you burn, uh, then you're just going to retain more fat. And if you eat less, then no matter what type of food you eat, you're going to burn. Um, you, you're going to burn calories and burn fat. And so this being said, the first thing first is just to meet this requirement and eat less food than your body uses. Uh, for this, for, first you have to figure out how much food your body using, um, and then the second one is really, you have to figure out how to eat 
food that um, fills you up, and that's really the second point, how to eat the food that keeps you full and satisfies so you don't crave, you don't feel like you, you want to eat more food, right? right? And again, like, from here, once you understand this, it's like simple Google research, like you can, how to, like, what you want to figure out is like, where you want to Google is like how to figure out my maintenance uh, calories and then just do the exercises necessary um, to give it a simple exercise. You can just start measuring the food you eat every single day, track it for a while. You don't have to do this for the rest of your life, but you should do it if you want to, you know, keep control over like your weight ultimately and the amount of fat there is your body. So keep track of that for a, for a, for a certain amount of time. Uh, make sure your physical exercise is consistent somewhat and just see when you are like, you know, picking up weight and when you're like losing weight. And so that's the first one and then find where is the sweet, sweet spot where you're like, your body's like in, you know, in sync. Like it's just not, you're not gaining weight and not losing weight. And so from there you can like just like cut a couple hundred calories and you can start losing weight. The second one is again, it's easy Google research, find foods that fills you up uh, and keep you satisfied. A lot of people are scared of fat, but actually fat helps you to, to stay satisfied. And so that's, I think that's one of the most important elements to like eat enough healthy fats next to the food you are eating, figure out if your body is more resistant to carbohydrates or fat and, you know, just try to design a, um, a diet accordingly. But generally speaking, you don't even need, um, I don't think you even need like a nutritionist or anybody to tell you this. It's literally like trial and error. You can try it out for yourself. Um, I have a really good control over like understanding how my body works and I never actually hired someone to tell me how to do it. Basically all I did, I was just like experimenting with these things. And so, you know, generally speaking, just eat a lot of carbs, see what happens. Just eat a diet when there's like little fat, a lot of carbs for a couple of weeks, see what happens. And then eat a diet when you eat a lot of fat, little carbs, see what happens and take, take the learning lessons and implement. And so that's, that's for, that's for foods. And again, like the biggest thing you want to figure out and the question before you do all these things, I think, and this is the step people miss is like why you are not eating the right food that's, that's, or the good food that's good for your mind, good for your physique. As soon as you figure it out and you can change your mindset, your perspective on food, that you're actually eating this food, you keep you full, right? It's for you to have energy and for you to be productive and feel good about your body. That's when you can solve this equation and you can like it's so much easier to take the action and uh, become healthier with your eating habits. The second part really is that, um, again, like physical fitness exercise. And uh, my background is that from an age of like, I would say like six, I've been, I've been doing sports for like six, seven years, did uh, competitive swimming, more than, more than seven years. And then I, I tried all type of sports. I tried monotone sports like running, swimming, uh, I tried um, biking, long distance biking, hiking, which is, I'm, I'm not even sure if that's a sport, mountain climbing, uh, mountain biking, dirt jump biking, um, did, tried kickbox, water polo, um, again, like CrossFit. I already told you, like CrossFit, um, pff, calisthenics, <laughs> bodybuilding, powerlifting. It's endless. It's, it's, it's so many things. And so, the biggest thing that what I see is that most people, when they want to exercise, they just like, they, they think in terms of exercise, they think, okay, so I have to go to the gym or I should start running or something among those lines. Maybe they are like, wait, I can do some, um, uh, high intensity interval workout or yoga or something among those lines. And so they try those things and regardless how they feel about those things, they just try, they just try make that work. Right. But the, the thing is, the key for having a healthy workout habit is to have consistency, right? So it's not enough to go twice or like once a week or twice a week. It's not going to not gonna work, right? And so you have to find something where you can go at least three, but more like four, five, even six times a week, something you really enjoy, right? Because that's the only way you can make that work. If you, if you do something you don't enjoy, it's almost humanly impossible to make yourself uh, go every single time, Um I don't believe that's possible. I tried it. I did things where I was not enjoying and it never really worked out. It was always a lot of stress. And so, um, how do you find something that you really enjoy? It's really trial and error. Like you have to try many, many sports, like try something for a week and then try another thing. Uh, there are like so many things you can try. It's the list is endless. So just like go on YouTube and just look for sports and just give it a try. Don't be scared. Like maybe, you know, you, you try your friend says, Oh, come play basketball with me. Give it a try. 
if you know you have a chance to try squash or tennis or whatever just give it a try right and try find something that you can do consistently in you know close to where you live right so if you like if you love skiing but you can't ski all the time maybe you have to move and ski all the time or um you have to find something else that you really like and so that's pretty much my biggest advice for fitness like that's what i see most people they just try um you know going to the gym and you know maybe maybe they try also running and they don't like those don't enjoy those so they only do them like once a week or twice a week and then they're surprised why it's really not working so guys that wraps it up really well the first thing first is that figure out why you're not eating the food that you know is good for you and then from there just reverse engineer the whole process and start going through the steps i mentioned a second one is figure out why you're not consistent with the with the, with the physical exercise you're doing and make sure you try many things don't be scared right and then i promise you if you like keep trying you're gonna find something you love doing and it would be easy for you to go like four or five even even six times a week and so that's what i would leave you with uh, i know this is not a video i usually you know create or post and so if you if you like this video if you find any value in it uh, make sure to drop a comment uh, join the conversation give you my two cents what you think about this topic and um yeah just uh, just write a comment so i know like this is something that's valuable for you and so i if that happens, I would start creating more content like this. Now.